One of the exciting things about creating Aliens Colonial Marines is that it's not based on a movie, it's a sequel to a movie, a series of movies. We had Ridley Scott's Alien, followed by James Cameron's Aliens. These movies defined science fiction for so many people, and it's humbling that my studio and I get to create a sequel to these films in video game form. Aliens Colonial Marines is immersive. It's fast. Scary. Frightening. Badass. Badass. Dark. How many fingers am I holding up? He's fine. We uh, tried to take that idea of a really interesting cast of characters and, and, and reinvent it a little bit with uh, Colonial Marines. We're spending a lot of time on the authenticity, the feel of all the weapons, the presentation of the story. We're doing some kind of interesting things with the way that we're presenting objectives and, and, and how you make your way through the world. You know, we put a lot of effort into being extremely authentic to the film. We're trying to be very much within canon. And we know that a lot of the hardcore fans take this very seriously. In the past, there, you know, we've gotten some feedback on screenshots or on some of the videos released. And we take that stuff very, very seriously. We've made changes to the game to make sure that this is what the fans uh, really, really want. And it actually hits the expectations that everyone has. Well, for one, uh, I think one of the similarities that you would find between Cameron's Aliens and where we are with the game is really in sort of look and feel, uh, tone of the game it has what you would think as if Cameron was directing himself, and at least that's our hope, is that you feel like the cinematography feels correct, you feel like the, the look and feel of the weapons, uh, the way the aliens move, uh, is something that maybe he would have done if uh, he was directing a game like this. So we want to present something that's as compelling and detailed and beautiful and, and, and exciting as the films, but in an interactive experience. So I feel really fortunate to have had the chance to have met with Ridley Scott. We were talking about possibly doing a Blade Runner game, which a lot of people have heard about and, and would love to see, and we'd love to see at some point. But in that conversation that we had with him, uh, he also uh, knew that we were interested in making an Aliens game. So he brought out his sort of storyboards for the movie Alien. And he went through, you know, basically one by one, and has kind of been able to explain to us some of the backstory and some of those kind of things that we've been able to incorporate in the game. And it was just an invaluable experience to be able to meet him and kind of get a perspective on what it is to have, you know, uh, what, what, an, what he originally meant to do with some of the aliens and that kind of thing. So that was really exciting. The environments in the game are obviously based on the ones in the movie. It takes place after the events of Aliens, the movie, so you're gonna see 17 weeks of change. You're gonna see what happened when the atmospheric processor exploded. You're gonna see what the surviving aliens have done to the planet. You're gonna see what Weyland Utani has done to the planet. You're gonna see what Weyland Utani has done to the derelict. You're definitely gonna see what happened in the 17 weeks since the, the events in Aliens, the film. If you enjoyed the films, you'll get double satisfaction from it because of all the connections that, that stays true to the canon. It's got a very strong story. It's got great action. It's got an interesting enemy. It's got interesting environments. It'll make you shit your pants from time to time. The Aliens universe is just cool. You're Aliens Marines, and you've got these badass arsenal, awesome armor and gear, and uh, you get to go kick ass. We're Aliens fans, and you know we, we've taken the risk to tell the story of what, what happens next. These aliens are gnarly, like colonial marines are badasses. They can handle anything, right? Except for this.